Hello, Villages Charter School and Buffalo Pride. I am Tom Jakes, the Safety, Security Specialist Supervisor and Mental Health Coordinator. In this video, we are going to go over some of the safety and security measures that are in place here at the Villages Charter School. Besides some of the safety measures that have been instituted here at the Villages Charter School, you will be also being, being able to meet our security and safety team members to include all of our safety specialists, Sumter County's Sheriff's Deputies Resource Officers, or SROs, and our mental health therapists who are both school-based mental health therapists and also Lifestream Behavioral Therapists, or CCOST, which stands for Children's Clinical Outpa Outpatient Services. On our team, we have experienced professional caring members who strive to put our students, faculty, and staff members first in order to provide a very secure learning environment where everyone can be successful. Without further delay, here are our safety, security, and mental health team members. Starting with myself, I grew up in East Fishkill, New York, and attended Our Lady of Lords High School and graduated in 1982. After graduating high school, I then went on to the Salve Regina University in Newport, Rhode Island, and was able to get a double major in criminal justice and history. Once I graduated from college, I then went and was hired by the Vermont State Police, where I stayed with them for 29 years, 29 and a half years. Um, during that time also, I obtained a graduate degree at the College of St. Joseph with a master's in clinical psychology. While with the Vermont State Police, I was stationed in five different barracks, but ended my career in the Office of Professional Development at the Training Division, where I was a training instructor, a fitness coordinator, defensive tactics, and a drill instructor at the Police Academy. Um, I look forward to being here at the Villages Charter School and continue on and maintaining a strong safety program for your children, staff, and faculty. Hello, my name is John Spittler. I'm one of the safety specialists at the Charter School. I've been with the school for 11 years. Originally from Ohio, I spent four years in the Marine Corps and am a Vietnam veteran. I went with the Ohio State Highway Patrol for 26 years, retiring as a lieutenant post commander. I graduated from the University of Toledo and began a teaching career. I taught high school for three years, then went in, in, into administration for 14 years, uh, retiring as the principal. My wife and I moved to Florida in 2010. We have three children grown and four grandchildren. A couple of things I want you to remember. If you see something, hear something, say something, and with increased security comes decreased convenience. Hello, my name is Brandon Sullivan. I'm a safety specialist at the Villages Charter School. Brandon Sullivan was born and raised in central Vermont and joined the Army at 18. His service includes deployment to Kuwait in support of Operation Enduring Freedom and to Iraq during Operation Iraqi Freedom. Brandon began his career in law enforcement in 2007. After completing the Law Enforcement Academy at the College of Central Florida, during his law enforcement career, Brandon was assigned as a patrol deputy, an honor guard member, a field training officer, an agriculture investigator, a school resource officer, a tactical response member as a sniper, and as a patrol supervisor. <clears throat> Brandon has been trained as a drug recognition expert and a DUI instructor, and also a clan lab and a specialist. Um, youth and mental health first aid instructor this recent year, he acquired that instruction and also is a threat assessment guidelines instructor. Brandon is currently a reserve deputy with the Sumter County Sheriff's Office and Brandon holds an associate degree from Liberty University and is working towards an undergraduate in psychology. Brandon comes to our safety and security team from the Sumter County Sheriff's Department. Brandon is extremely professional and dedicated to the safety and success of our schools and our children and staff. Hi, my name is Carrie Deering. I am a licensed mental health counselor through Lifestream stationed here at the Villages Charter School. I grew up in Traverse City, Michigan, where I attended Central High School and played varsity golf. Following graduation, I moved to Grand Rapids, Michigan, where I attended Grand Valley State University and got my undergraduate degree in psychology. 
I then obtained a master's degree in mental health counseling and marriage and couple family counseling from Western Michigan University in 2018. During my time in the program, I was a part of the Counseling Honor Society and I graduated there with honors. Um, following graduation, um, I completed a six month internship at a private practice setting, seeing a variety of clients and issues. After that, I worked as a counselor in a psychiatric inpatient facility. I then moved on to work for a community mental health agency where I treated children ages 5 to 18 doing in-home and in-school therapy. During this time, I also provided crisis management services to families. Before moving to Florida, I assisted a fellow graduate school peer in opening a private practice, and to this day I see Michigan clients via telehealth through that agency. I am a nationally certified counselor. I completed a year-long certification in using trauma-focused cognitive behavioral therapy for individuals ages 5 to 18. I'm also a certified clinical anxiety treatment professional with a focus on children and adolescents. I completed training in Gottman Method and Prepare Enriched Couples Therapy, and I am currently working on obtaining my play therapy certification. Um, I have a husband and two children, ages three and one. Hobbies of mine include reading, fishing, boating, anything outdoors, and spending time with family and friends. Hi, my name is Amanda Peters. I'm a mental health school counselor for the Villages Charter School. I grew up in the Ocala, Florida area and attended Lakewood High School where I earned 18 varsity letters, including meddling at states for cross country. I attended UCF on a track and cross country scholarship where I earned a degree in physical education and a minor in coaching. Immediately after college, I started working as a physical education teacher for the Villages Intermediate Center and I taught there for 13 years. I also coached high school soccer for 10 years and coached track and softball for a few years each. I earned my master's in counseling from Webster University. This is my fourth year as a mental health school counselor. I currently am working on becoming a licensed mental health counselor. In my free time, I enjoy playing sports, working out, and traveling. My future plans include traveling to Hawaii and Israel and continuing to enjoy every day. <clears throat> Terrence Manuel is one of our C-Cost therapists, was born and raised in Leesburg, Florida, and graduated Leesburg High School. During Leesburg High School, Terrence played football and ran track while attending Leesburg High School until graduation. He earned a bachelor's in criminology from the University of South Florida and received his master's in social work from the Case Western Reserve University. Terrence has been employed with Lifestream for 10 years and recently became a licensed clinical social worker. Terrence enjoys working with children, adolescents, and their families. He has experience working with individuals with anxiety, depression, and PTSD. Terrence's interests now include running 5K races, staying fit, going to the gym, and is becoming a worldwide traveler. Terrence's extensive background in psychology and helping others will be a tremendous asset to the Villages Charter School. Alice Parrott is one of our Villages Charter School mental health therapists. Her education background includes an undergraduate degree from Indiana State University, a BS psychological applications, a master of social work from Western Michigan University, school social work endorsement from the University of Illinois at Chicago, and education administrator endorsement from Northern Illinois University. Alice's work history, she has a professional experience in the fields of clinical mental health, rural health, and education. Her primary focus has been to improve the emotional health of children and their families. By improving student emotional health and equipping them with tools such as emotional and self-regulation, coping and problem solving skills, by improving social engagement and understanding emotional well-being, they gain access to academic learning and improve long-term outcomes. Alice's previous work history include assistant director for, for student services, elementary assistant principal, clinical director of therapeutic day school, and screening assessor for children to determine the need for mental health hospitalization. Her professional licenses include in Florida, 
registered clinical social work intern and a school social worker. Illinois, she has a license in clinical social worker, Illinois State Board of Education Administrator endorsement and social, so school social work. Her training, she recently completed a trauma treatment from the PESI and National Child Traumatic Stress Network, which focused on cognitive behavior therapy for anxiety. Um, Alice's interests um, includes um, baking, growing herbs, hosting tea parties, music, reading, dancing, and travel. Um, and she looks forward to working with all of our students here at the Villages Charter School. Sergeant Michael Calloway has been employed with the Sumter County Sheriff's Office since 2003. He has served in the Road Patrol, Detective Bureau, Community Outreach, and Traffic Divisions before becoming a school resource officer at Wildwood Middle High School in 2016. He has an associate degree in criminal justice from Columbia South Southern University and is currently working on a bachelor's degree in criminal justice administration. Sergeant Calloway is certified by the Florida Attorney General's Office as a crime prevention practitioner and a school resource deputy specialist. Sergeant Calloway is only the only deputy to hold the crime prevention practitioner designation at the Sumter County Sheriff's Office. In November 2021, Sergeant Calloway was transferred back to the SRO division as the officer in charge. Corporal Nicholas Torsha is originally from Cold Spring, New York, but moved to Ocala, Florida in 2011. He earned his associate degree in criminal justice from the College of Central Florida and a bachelor's degree in criminal justice from St. Leo University. He attended College of Central Florida at Criminal Justice Institute, where he graduated from the Law Enforcement Academy in 2013. After graduating from the Academy, he began his employment at the Sumter County Sheriff's Office in 2014, when he was assigned as a Road Patrol Deputy. He quickly became a field training officer and started training newly hired deputies. After serving three years in the Road Patrol Division, he was assigned to criminal investigations and entered CID as a crime, property crimes detective investigating thefts and burglaries. After approximately one year in property crimes, he was moved up to the major cases working violent crimes. During this time, he was assigned to the Internal Crimes Against Children Task Force combining the sexual exploitation of children. In 2021, he was promoted to corporal and assigned back to the Road Patrol Division. In 2022, he was provided the opportunity to move to the School Resource Officer Division, where he continues to serve the Sumter County community. Deputy Brian Melhado is currently in his 16th year of law enforcement. He has been a school resource officer for over a year. Brian's law enforcement experience includes six plus years on road patrol, seven plus years in major crimes as a detective, specializing in victims, uh, victims crimes. Brian Mahalo is also a certified field training officer and holds a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. He has attended numerous Florida Department of Law Enforcement classes, and Brian works closely with the Department of Children's and Families on Protection of Children, and had worked hand in hand with forensic interviews at child agency, advocacy agencies, and several locations in Florida. Brian has a soft spot for children and enjoys helping to mold them into our future leaders, parents, professionals, and protecting them. In Brian Mahalo's personal life, He's been married for 27 years, has one son and one grandson. He's passionate about helping those with physical and mental disabilities and has been involved with many organizations for over 40 years. He believes in helping others without expectation of anything in return. Prior to his law enforcement career, Brian Mahalo worked in the private sector as a mid-level manager. 
consisting of over 25 years in the manufacturing, warehouse, distribution, and retail industries. He also holds certificates in each of these industries. It is a pleasure to have Deputy Mojado patrol our campus in the afternoon and evening hours. His professionalism and work experience is a true asset to our Villages Charter School campus. Deputy Wynn has been employed at the Sumter County Sheriff's Office since June of 1997. During that time, he has served with the Road Patrol Division and SWAT teams and was a school protection deputy at Cell Sumter High School from November 2003 to 2008. He has been recognized by having been awarded the MAD, which is a top DOI enforcement award, which is Mothers Against Drunk Driving, uh, for the county in 2002, uh, the Lifestream Law Enforcement Officer Special Recognition Award in 2004, and the Sumter County Schools Non-Instruction Person of the Year Award in 2006 to 2007 school year. In 2019, Lieutenant Wynn was promoted lieutenant and it was scheduled to be supervising over the school's protection deputies. Lieutenant Wynn has extensive experience and professionalism. We are very fortunate to have him supporting our school resource program. Deputy Liam attended Conduit High School in Ohio. After graduating high school, he worked construction jobs and then enlisted in the Army in 1985, where he remained until 1993. He also fought in Desert Storm. Um, in 1983, he then moved to Florida and was hired by Groveland Police Department, where he served for four years. After serving four years at Groveland, he then transferred to Center Hill PD and was promoted to sergeant, where he was a shift supervisor for two years. After that two years, he then transferred to Sumter County Sheriff's Department, where he's a canine handler and worked for them for about 16 years now. He has trained and worked three separate canines while employed with this agency. Um, he has also enjoys bike riding, spending time with his family, and taking care of his canines, uh, working and retired. Deputy Lamb joined the school state division beginning in 2018-19 school year as a specialized canine unit. His canine now, Rio, is a two-year-old German short hair pointer, mixed dog. He was shipped over to the United States from Hungary, a local business training agency, and he is now trained for, trained for explosive detection. Rio and Deputy Lamb moved to SRO spot starting in that 2018-2019 school year, and he'll be working and going to school, working together to keep the Sumter County Schools a safer place. Deputy Lamb is currently assigned to our high school building and brings a wealth of job knowledge and strong communication skills to our SRO position. Deputy Michael Large has been employed with the Sumter County Sheriff's Office for approximately three and a half years. Before that, he was at the Lady Lake Police Department for approximately one year. Prior to moving to Florida five and a half years ago, he lived in Illinois where he worked full-time at the Mass Transit, which is city buses, for approximately 14 years. Deputy Large was also a volunteer firefighter for 17 years and an emergency medical te technician, EMT, for 11 years. He has been married to his wife for almost 18 years and has three children, all boys, who are 26, 15, and 13. This is Deputy Large's first year serving as a school resource officer, and he is really enjoying it. Deputy Large loves interacting with the children and watching them grow every day. He believes it's important for an officer, an SRO, to have a positive interaction and relationship with the students and to gain their trust. Usually, police officers carry a negative connotation because they respond when things are typically bad. Deputy Large works very hard to change that perspective for the public and to be that positive person and interact in their interaction in their life. Deputy Large thanks you for allowing him to be a positive influence in your child's day and he hopes he can brighten their future. Deputy Rutz has been employed with the Sumter County Sheriff's Office since 2012. During that time, he has served with the Road Patrol Division as a bailiff and in the Sumter County Courthouse. He has also 
I worked in the capacity of a civil deputy and in a civil and warrants division. Deputy Rutz has currently joined the Villages Charter School as a school protection deputy for the fifth, fourth and fifth grade center. Deputy Rutz has enjoyed his time as an SRO and hopes he is a positive influence for his community's youth. Deputy Rutz is temporarily scheduled to Wildwood Elementary School, uh, but will be returning to our school next year. And with the remaining school year, he will be also doing um, extra details here at the school. The school, Village Charter School, enjoys Deputy Rutz's knowledge and expertise and his ability to communicate effectively with our students. Deputy Laviano began his law enforcement career in 2016 with the Hernando County Sheriff's Office. He started off working as a civilian while going through corrections and law enforcement academies. He graduated from both academies in 2017 and began his career as Deputy Sheriff working in both the detention center and also on patrol for Hernando County. Early in 2019, Laviano transferred to Sumter County Sheriff's Office, where he has worked as patrol for most of two years before being transferred to the School Resource Office Division. W. Laviano has been stationed at the IC High School and is now currently at the middle school. Recently, he's been promoted to the SWAT team and serves as in that capacity. Deputy Laviano is always professional, accountable, and open to his students. He is a very strong asset to our middle school. Deputy Christine Peters has been a law enforcement officer for approximately 14 years. She started her career as a law enforcement officer with the Marion County Sheriff's Office in 2004 after graduating from the Central Florida Community College. During the course of her career, she has worked as both patrol deputy and property crimes detective. In 2020, she obtained her bachelor's in criminal justice and arson investigations. <clears throat> Shortly after being hired with the Suffolk County Sheriff's Office, she was approached about becoming a full-time school resource officer for the Villages Charter School Intermediate Center. She is honored to have been entrusted with the safety of your children and she enjoys it every day. Deputy Peters' extensive law enforcement background and criminal investigation skills is a true asset to the Villages Charter School. Deputy Peters has been an SRO for the Villages Inter Intermediate Center for two years, and she continues to be a strong asset for the children of our school. Deputy Charles Pivots, but he likes to go by the name of Chuck, uh, Deputy Chuck Pivots. He is a graduate of Lake Tech Law Enforcement Academy, where he graduated with uh, academic honors. He also graduated with a bachelor's degree at Kent State University in 1992 and an MBA from the University of Phoenix in 2005. <clears throat> he currently works uh, for the law enforcement agency of Sumter County Sheriff. He is new to the career of law enforcement with four years of service. He is driven for the safety and security of his community. He currently serves the community as a school resource officer in the Villages Primary Center and have, has also held a position of patrol uh, deputy. Her, his current goal as an SRO is to protect the young lives in my school and to be a mentor and friend to them. Deputy Privets, Chuck, is extremely motivated and brings a professional and caring dimension to this SRO position at the Primary Center. He's looking forward to working with your students on a daily basis.